are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, the NBA world is about to be rocked with scandal. On the heels of the Washington football team slash John Gruden email scandal, this could actually make that look like child's plate. Now, according to reports, ESPN has been working on this for the better part of a year. And if this is true, this could be a devastating blow to the NBA. The lights we haven't really seen since Donald Sterling back in 2014 when he was actually forced to sell the L.A. Clippers because he made racist statements. ESPN is on the verge of dropping a bombshell report on the Phoenix Suns owner, and his name is Robert Sarver. He is being accused of making, uh, I guess you could say, racist statements or being accused of racism, sexual harassment and other things. This can actually be a devastating blow. And they're saying that the NBA could actually act and remove him as the owner of the Phoenix Suns. In other words, force him to sell a la Donald Sterling. Let's get into this, guys. Suns Robert Sarver strongly dismisses racism, misconduct claims ahead of rumored report. Robert Sarver bought the Suns in 2004. It says here the Phoenix Suns strongly pushed back on a rumor team owner Robert Sarver will be accused of racism, sexism and sexual harassment in an upcoming story. Sports reporter Jordan Schultz floated the rumor on Friday. The NBA was preparing for the allegations against Sarver without going into too much detail. In a tweet, Schultz wrote, quote, the NBA is preparing for a massive story accusing Suns owner Robert Sarver of racism, sexism, and sexual harassment in a series of incidents, sources say. With strong evidence to support such claims, there's a real chance the league, the league would forcibly remove Sarver. So buckle up and get ready for this. And that's the uh, tweet there from uh, Jordan Schultz. He further, he further um, it's explained on Arizona Sports, Burns, and Gambo. Quote, the report is a monster. As bad as you might think it might be for us to be having this conversation, it's worse. What I was told, some of the things that are going to surface in this report, including sexual harassment, it is jaw dropping. There's just no way that there's just no way that with all of these people on the record, men and women, that he's going to be able to survive this in my eyes. He told the radio show. And that is a picture there of uh, Phoenix Suns owner. And also um, he owns the uh, Phoenix Mercury as well, uh, who lost in the WNBA finals. That's a picture of him right there. Now, we don't exactly know what these accusations really are. I guess we'll just have to wait uh, when ESPN drops this. And it's going to be interesting, interesting to see um, how the other NBA owners We'll react to this. And let's continue reading here. Quote, what I was told was that there has been a kind of sweep under the rug culture that he has fostered. Close quote. The Suns revealed in a statement that ESPN was going to report the allegations. And they say this quote, we understand that ESPN is considering publishing a proposed story that makes completely baseless claims against the Suns Legacy Partners LLC organization concerning a variety of topics, the team said. Document, documentary evidence in our possession and eyewitness accounts directly contradict the reporter's accusations, and we are preparing our response to his questions. We urge everyone not to rush to judgment here, especially based on lies, innuendo, and a false narrative to attack our organization and its leadership. Now, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. I don't even know um, really what kind of accusations or anything that he said, uh, because we know that in uh, 2020, 2021, what the media considers racism isn't always racism. I'm not saying that 
He didn't make any racism statements. I'm not saying that at all. We'll have to wait and uh, judge for ourselves on that. Sarver also pushed back with a three paragraph statement. He says this. I am wholly shocked by some of the allegations purported by ESPN about me personally or about the Phoenix Suns and Mercury organizations. While I can't begin to know how to respond to some of the vague suggestions made by mostly anonymous voices, I can certainly tell you that some of the claims I find completely repugnant to my nature and to the character of the Suns Mercury workplace. I can tell you they never, ever happen, Sarver said. First and foremost, I reject any insinuation of personal or organizational racism or gender discrimination. I despise language that disrespects any individuals, regardless of race, gender, preference or choice. Such language has no place in business or at home in what I consider sons and Mercury families. I'm proud of our record of diversity and inclusion on both teams, whether on the court or in the front office. I don't begin to know how to prove that something something didn't happen and it is difficult to erase or forget ugly accusations once they are made. Even hints of racism or sexism in our culture today are toxic and damaging and should not be lightly raised. I categorically deny any and all suggestions that I use disparaging language regarding related to uh, race or gender. I would like to think that my actions and public record regarding race, gender or discrimination of any kind over a lifetime business and community service will adequately answer any questions anyone might raise about my commitment to equality and fairness. That is the words of Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver here. Suns general manager James Jones and CEO Jason Raleigh both bat Sarver. Jones said the rumors didn't describe what he knows about Sarver and Raleigh uh, said Sarver was not a racist or sexist. Now, what I'm curious about here, though, guys, is what does ESPN actually have on him? Is it private conversations? Is it private text messages, emails, that kind of thing? Because we said it before, guys, that we will speak closely to those who are very, very close to us. We'll say things to them that we actually won't say uh, to to colleagues or other business partners, that kind of thing. So I'm not too sure about this. But uh, it says, quote, I will also say that that reporter in this instance has shown a reckless disregard for the truth. He has harassed employees, former employees and family members, used truths, have truths and rumors to manufacture a story in which he's heavily invested and then perpetuate a completely false narrative within the sports industry to back it up. His tactics throughout this process have been without any basis in journalism, ethics or even morality. Raleigh Alley added. It's unclear when the bombshell report is supposed to drop. Sarver bought the team in 2004. So there you have it, guys. Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver accused of racism, sexual harassment. This could get really bad if these accusations are found to be true. And if they are, I have no doubt that the NBA owners will force him to sell the team a la Donald Sterling. It's going to be interesting to see what um, Adam Silver has to say about this. Uh, Also, you know, other NBA players, they may not have much to say now because uh, nothing's really out there. We just know that there's accusations out there and more to come in the coming days, probably within a week. ESPN is going to drop this uh, quote unquote bombshell report uh, that could be a bit time blow to the NBA. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, Suns owner Robert Sarver, stand by. This could get very, very ugly and be a black eye to the NBA as another owner in the NBA could be outed. The first since uh, Donald Sterling back in 2014 for racism and other stuff. So we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. 
Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.